Yeah. Straighten you out here. I don't know what I can. Right now you're sitting on top of some potatoes. I got a potato container and extra potatoes that didn't fit in the potato container. So you're leaning up against the potato container, which is sitting beside the potato container. Potato container. So despite the fact that it's a bitter, bitter day out there, I abandoned Gail and the tripods when we got to the corner and I continued on and I made a good walk because if it snows or is unpleasant in the next few days, um, I'm not going to get a walk in. I didn't get a walk in yesterday because it was so icy. So I thought I have to do it today. So I did it. And she said, no, we didn't go anywhere yesterday. It was too icy. I said, yeah, I stepped on the street and I went right back in the house because it was too icy. I was not alone. Right, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't opened the door. Okay, let's open the door. See if I can see anything. There we go. Guess what is tonight? Yay, it's the beginning of the NHL season. Yes. Yes, yes, so the Leafs play the Canadians, the Les Canadiens tonight. Yes, they do. I'm looking forward to that. I said, oh, are you excited? He says, my son, I know. you missed part of the conversation. I said to my son, are you excited? And he said, mom, I said, I know, you're not excited. <laughs> he's, he's a Detroit fan. For some bizarre reason, he is a Detroit fan. So he doesn't get excited. Well, he does. He does. If there's nothing else to watch, he will watch the Leafs. But one, one of his coaches along the way turned him into a Detroit fan. And so that's what he's been ever since. So he, he watched the red and blue the red and white game and I watched the blue and white game <laughs> in the preseason last week. <laughs> Was it this week? Hmm. Can't remember. Anyway. That hockey game, he watched the one that was red. I watched the one that was blue. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's get you off the potatoes. And let's get us into the house. It's not terribly cold. Okay, the rag dropped. The rag that serves no purpose, except for when there's a dog here and needs its paws cleaned off. Rare is that occasion, maybe. That's the occasion that it's here for. Hi, Tanner. I, need, I think I need to do some floor washing. I don't know. There's something that smells in here. No, it doesn't smell like my beef or my good, delicious onion stuff. What? 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 <laughs> yes, maybe I need to wash some floors. I don't know. Something smells funny. Maybe it's just a house that's been closed and hasn't seen much of the outdoors. House has never seen much of the outdoors, dear. I can't reach up there. <laughs> uh, up, up. See, once long ago, I asked my husband to make me a ledge up there. Like a ledge on there. He didn't. Once, long ago, I asked my son to make me a ledge up there. He didn't. 
So those things are always sitting there precariously because no one, oh, look at my hair, wow, has ever made me the ledge that I asked for. Never, never, for some reason, they don't feel they need to make me the ledge that I ask for. So that things won't fall off. Just a little ledge that will hold them in. No. Wow, that's flattened here. It's time to have a shower. It is. It is shower day. It's shower day. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. Ooh, that's gruesome. Are you going to clean things up, Floyd? There's nothing. There's nothing. Everyone's been eating the food. So sometimes the food gets eaten instantly. Sometimes they leave it. So that's what I say. I say, you guys, sometimes you give me really fresh food that they love. And sometimes you give me food that they could rather, you know, they would rather not have. Couldn't you give us, some, give us something fresher? They don't understand it. Well, I say it happens. Every now and then it happens. Why? Why? Why, Tanner? Why does it happen? I don't know. Hey, you're purring. Yes, you're purring. <laughs> okay. Let's get this big coat off. Let's get this big coat off. I am sorry, Floyd. It is not even close to supper time. It's uh, barely four o'clock. Barely four. Some stuff off. I have too many things. See, why do I have these scarves here? I never go out because we're not supposed to, because as of midnight tonight, we are in a modified lockdown. Stay at home, serious stay at home. So unless you have an, an essential job or need to go get groceries or go to the pharmacy, no one is allowed to go out. Yes, that is the modified lockdown. That's the most recent restriction we've had put on us. So that comes into effect tonight at midnight. Why they had to wait t till tonight at midnight? And why they didn't just go bam? I don't know, because people go out and they go, oh, you're giving me a lockdown, more restrictions. Let's go and get and do these things before it comes into effect. Really? Really? You're going to do that? Yeah, they do that. People are that stupid. I, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't help those people. You really can't. 